Inside this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can bypass the voltage regulator inside these Dodges, where they got the voltage regulator built into the into the computer right here. And the computer's gone out in this, and so it's not it's not regulating the voltage no more. But it still runs fine. So I'm, I ordered this kit. I ordered this kit right here on uh, on eBay. I'll put some links in the bottom of this video. But uh, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to wire this up, and um, the connections for this one. Uh, since this connection's a little bit odd, this is a 2000 Dodge. It's a 2000 Dodge uh, pickup truck, 1500. And it, and it shouldn't really matter. The only the only uh, the only thing about these alternators is the connection right here. Either one of these wires isn't going to matter which one we use that goes in. You have the main one right here that goes to the to the battery. We're going to leave that alone, and we're just going to use these two wires for the two terminals. And yours might be different, your connectors might be different, but you'll just use those and, you know, leave this alone. And we're going to wire this up. Basically, we're going to use these two wires. We're going to go to it, to the voltage regulator, which is right here. And uh, we're going to mount this on the firewall or the, wherever we can. And then we're going to use this red wire is going to go to the battery. And these two wires right here are going to go to those two terminal wires that I just showed you. So the one thing is that we can't just run this to the battery because when the key goes off it'll drain the battery. So we got to run it through the key somehow so when we turn the key off that uh, it doesn't drain the battery by just sitting there. You can run it to a switch too I guess but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it into this here fuse panel box and uh, I'm going to set it so that when the key goes off, so we'll, it won't drain the battery. When it comes back on, it'll have enough to excite the field and the alternator, and it'll be able to charge it. So I'm going to go ahead and start hooking that up, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm, I just wanted to show this real quick how I'm mounting this. I went and mounted it over here on the firewall. Still got to put another screw over here. I just used the zip gun and screwed it in with the screws that came with the kit. There's a grounding wire since to make sure this has to have a good ground otherwise it'll overcharge. There's a grounding wire that comes over. I just wanted to show you where I put that. You could ground it anywhere on the alternator but there's a bolt right there for me that was really simple to do. And as far as the connectors go I had to cut the existing one and uh, put the new ones on like that because that didn't come with the connectors for this but basically to run the two wires the two black wires coming up here this big one here you know gets left alone these are the old ones going to the computer which I'm just gonna separate and tape off here in a minute the only one I got left is this red one which I need to run through the key somehow so when the key turns on it goes to the positive side of the battery so that's what I'm going to be doing next. And the left side is what we're going to want to go to because that's what's uh, coming on when the engine comes on. The right side is always on and the left side is for when the, when the key gets turned. So that's the one I'm going to try to tap into is the one on the left. And I'm going to use this but if you had to, you know, however you have to get in there, use a connection in there and plop it in. But uh, for me, I think that's the best one. You could potentially use any of these, but since that one's the 20 amp hazard light, it seems like it'd be make the most sense to use. Okay, there's the, the hot wire. I got wired into the left on the hazard, and uh, so it's wired in. And here's the voltage regulator again. Got the wiring harness on. Got my grounding wire. Going into the, got it so that the alternate, so it's alternator is grounded good to the voltage regulator. And I got my two black wires going to the connector back here. Never had to touch the main uh, uh, power coming in, that was just left alone. So 
All that's left to do is to start it up and see if the regul how the, the voltage regulates on it. Okay, there it is. I got my leads for my multimeter hooked up. Seems to be running a little bit high, so I don't think I got a good ground on it. Going over 15 volts like that is a little bit high. So, I'm gonna double check my, uh, my grounds and be right back. All right, I checked on my grounds and I even pulled the ground loose and the voltage regulator just went kind of crazy there. So it must be charging over that because uh, possibly because the battery was so drained from uh, not charging. But that's right where it's running at right now, 15.76. Another thing to mention is that the engine light won't go off. That's obvious because two wires go to the computer now are off because using an external voltage regulator. I might double check these grounds, maybe even run one more just to be sure. But that's how you hook up an external voltage regulator on a Dodge.